The FBI says a man in Michigan has admitted to spraying a mice poison formula on food in the grocery stores. The bureau released a photo of the suspect entering a Whole Foods in Ann Arbor, and tips from the public led to his arrest. Jerika Duncan is in Flint at another grocery store that may have been targeted. Jerika, good morning. Good morning. This grocery store behind me is one of at least a dozen targeted by the suspect. Now the FBI and the State Department of Agriculture are investigating the contamination that may have put thousands of people at risk. The FBI says this man admitted to intentionally spraying a liquid mixture of mice poison, hand cleaner, and water on produce sections of at least three stores in the Ann Arbor area. He told investigators he sprayed food with the substance at a Whole Foods, Meyer, and Plum Market within the last two weeks. But according to the FBI investigation, at least 14 total Michigan stores could have been affected. What if he's been doing it for weeks or months or years and we just suddenly someone saw him? And I mean, it makes you think about everything you buy all the time. A Whole Foods employee in Ann Arbor noticed this individual spraying liquid on produce and reported it to police, sparking the investigation. In a statement to the Ann Arbor News, a Whole Foods spokesperson said, out of an abundance of caution, all salad and hot food bars were immediately closed down at the store. All food was thrown out, and the store team thoroughly cleaned and sanitized all food stations, equipment, and serving utensils before restocking with fresh items. State health officials say they do not anticipate adverse health effects for people who may have ingested potentially contaminated food. But the Michigan Department of Agriculture and Rural Development is warning customers to take action, encouraging consumers to dispose of any foods purchased from salad bars, olive bars, and ready-to-eat hot and cold food areas from these stores between mid-March and the end of April. So far, there have been no reports of anyone getting sick, but state health officials warn more stores may have been impacted. The FBI is expected to give an update later this morning. Nora? Tarika, what a scary story. Thank you so much.